Well, today, wizardy little rims, there wasn't supposed to be any wizard tales nor adventures. I'd already announced that I was going to be using today for sweet meditation, by which I mean catching up with the enormous to-do list that is this mod pack. But I started working on it, and I fixed the important stuff and updated the RPG mod and everything else, and then... I'll be honest, I just miss my wizards. I'm just way too invested in my little wizard colony. You know what it's like when you start a new game and you're really into it and you don't want to stop playing? That's it. That's me with this playthrough. I would play this for 24 hours a day, but sadly, that would be very difficult to edit. <laughs> my beautiful and strange and weird little colonists. But of course, you know I'm here for the greatest temptation of all. The Wizard Tower. We are actually getting resources. Quite literally, we are overflowing with gems at this stage. I'm excited for the prospects in the future of Wizard City. I'm seeing everything unfolding in my head. I'm thinking maybe we put a safety wall around all of the edge of the safe, nice, and clean areas of this wasteland. The crazy idea I have that does nothing for us but would look awesome is making this like three times the size and filling it with shitloads of seats. A great big wizard governance body. It would be awesome. <laughs> Except I'm struggling to build a single tower, so baby steps. And speaking of baby steps, Sylvia Blight, Bird's uh, lover, is Perganen. And not only that, Melton, of course, had a baby. A little baby. Literally a little baby. It's not, it's not a very good baby. It's got Bard and Ravager, which to be fair is new and a little bit weird. And to top it all off, that says Daddy and I had a nice chat. Hang on. Tease it. Tease it. Tease it. Hold on. Wait. Oh, there it is. A childish infantile. I would never do that. Someone in the comments two episodes ago actually suggested it. So there you are. There you are, my little weird comment section dweller. What the hell is that on the shelf? Hello. Sort of delicious meat. Oh, the most delicious meat of all. Trust me, there's plenty of meat being hawked around here, if you know what I'm saying. Mr. Cringe Grapefruit Technique.mp4. <laughs> Animating that once was a waking nightmare. I'm not doing it a second time. Now, while they build the tower, it is worth mentioning, of course, there is going to come a time where the less useful characters are going to be sent off to build a base of their own and to carry on with the project. To do exactly what Wildfire, Rampunculus, and uh, Bert set off to do all those many years ago. And speaking of all those many years ago, it's been about 20 years so far since we started. Gorticia is 43. I think she started at about 20, 25-ish. Hey, you know what would really help the colony's food problems? Killing some of these fucking animals. My god, that's a lot of neutral hope. So, uh, hold on, let's have a look. How's the alpaca breeding program going? Uh, in terms of milk slash wool, they're all pretty shitty. The male has 89, the female has 90. So we're going to keep the two best. Neutral Opes, same story. Who's the best here? We got 108 there. Oh my god. And then 107 is male. Oh shit. Okay. Neutral Opes are doing really well. What about my Muffalo? Um, that Muffalo has more than that Muffalo. So kill, kill this one. We're going to keep it really compact until we get the maximum. Then breed as many as you want. The Bobini too. Look at this. Get that one in the bin. Get that one in the bin. Well, they are fucking terrible, aren't they? And then we've got one that is 122%. Boom. Obviously, I'm not going to do that with the dragon. We'd sell the dragon. We, we would just sell the dragons, gift it to our fellow uh, neighboring wizards when eventually they hatch. Oh, God. Oh, why is he taking protein to watch? It's important life lesson, protein. You're going to be dead in a field one day. I mean, probably very soon if we don't get some magical armor. You saw what those LMGs did yesterday. Maybe we spend a little research and I'll try and get some sort of wizardy magic -y robes. Arcane weapons. That would be a great plan. Now that you mention it, Eltex gear clearly has some sort of... Look at that. Arcanian helmet. Yeah, give me that. So magic gear immediately cracked off there. Now we just need shitloads of Arcanium. Eltex is what the, uh, the non-magical folk call it. We've got three... It's not really, not really a great start. To be fair, we don't need to build the masks or the helmets or anything. Maybe the Archmage could have, like, a, a fancy helmet. Don't, don't do that. The prisoners are fighting. Apparently, they're recreation starved, as if they haven't got a chess table in there. Oh, my bog-leg friends, what happened? Oh, forded shitted Grand Nagus of the bog-leg traders has died. <laughs> I forgot I called him that. That's giving me a headache. Oh, Jesus. I love that their leader was called Forded Shitted, and then the guy that took over is just called Connor. Uh, pray tell. What's happened to Bert? Sorry, let me just put this meat shelf down, because we got a bit of a meat overflow, and then I've killed the animals. But what happened, fella? Food poisoning major. Oh, shit. And then, of course, malnutrition as well, because he's such a hungry wizard boy, combined with his <laughs> combined with his food poisoning, he's feeling quite unwell there. Turns out, there's another forded and shitted around. And his name is Bert. Oh, God, and Sylvia as well. 
That bedroom is not safe. We need to add some vents. Cook faster, wildfire. Cook faster. You know if we planted some spice, we could have some gourmet meals. Especially with a farm of this size. Oh, shit. Shit, we need, like, advanced agriculture first. Oh, no! Um, I mean, arguably, agriculture is more important than a magic stick, to be fair. What I'm about to say is going to be controversial, but someone suggested that Rambunculus would try and keep wildfire young. She's his lover. She's the mother of his children, but... Rambunculus' grand mage. He has been tasked by wizard council to see that their project comes to fruition. So they're trying to get the ultra wizard. And by keeping her young and not allowing the gene pool to develop naturally, not allowing wizards to live their lives fully and, and, and have their progeny and die, is going against wizard council. It's going against nature. If we could just try and have a normal conversation for five minutes. So let's absolutely ram this thing full of raw meat. Oh, God, it's so stinky. Oh. Uh, we really should look at cleaning up this pollution. I'm going to assume... Yeah, I'm going to assume there isn't a magic spell to clean it up because this came out prior to biotech, if I'm not mistaken. Whichever one added the stink. The Conjurer being able to magic away a bunch of pollution would be awesome, but I don't think that's the case. I hate to say it. I think our wizards are going to have to... They're going to have to scoop it up. The Artificer, though, can summon little, little rock fellas performing simple chores, right? And then that one is... Uh, the Steel Golems are defensive. So the Rock Golems... I think might genuinely be able to sweep it up. That's actually a much better way of dealing with the pollution magically. A spell that's called, you know, pollution bye-bye magic blast power is a bit boring. But this, though, is thinking outside the box. So we're going to go enchant quality, which is awesome, because then we can make better magic wands and whatever. Designate an area to experience magical interference, effectively scrambling arcane systems IFFs while identifying the caster's people as allies. I know all of those words, but in that order, that makes no sense. I don't know what's going on there. Allocate a minimum amount of the caster's arcane load to create a crystal which can be implanted into a stone chunk. And then we got ourselves a little floor-sweeping magical golem. Boom. Look at my guy. Look at my guy! Oh, shit. We need to make a couple of those. So what you get, you, you permanently will now have 20 arcane load. Right. And then if you want to get more, of course, we just upgrade his base stats. But let's give him a few more powers first. We've started stacking up a bunch of arcane levels. I wanted to do it all at once. We're not spending a massive amount of time here. Word of joy, beautiful. Word of love is insane. We've got word of serenity and word of inspiration. I feel like word of inspiration is probably more beneficial over, over the course of things. Let's get Anita and Daddy together because she do need a daddy. And then we'll bring, uh, we'll bring Melton over here. To do a little a little love, a little matchmaking. This is Wizard Tinder right here. Whoa, their magical aptitude affects how likely it is to work. Boom. Fall in love. Did, what did it do? <laughs> what, what did it do? Uh, attempting courage. Yep. Psychic love plus 40. I would just give some opinion of one another. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, zero chance. Uh... Low opinion. Bollocks. Go, my army of golems. I didn't realize we had a bunch of rock chunks just over here stacked up. Go. Full send. Full send, Goosen. There you go. I think I think that'll do. Let's give him a little bit of overhead just in case we want to do one of the other powers. Beautiful. Do they sweep the floors? Because that's really what I was hoping for. Sorry, maybe more importantly here. Protein, my friend. Hello. Um, let's go with... What are you good at again? Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Later a second. What are, you, what, are, what are you interested in? What are you passionate about? I should be I should be basing this on the character. Pyromancer, Chondra, Electromancer, Vampire with a third eye. Protein enjoys learning about the Architects and dreams of making a difference in the world. Okay. Well, then let's say crafting because that seems pretty appropriate. I've gone with artistic herbal or crafting. It's a bit bizarre and it's all over the place. Um, dreams of making a difference in the world. I think it's quite a kind thing to do. Maybe I forgot about the fact that we have a bunch of spare prisoners. And maybe they're eating all my delicious, lavish meals. Here's the good news. The RPG fantasy reflavor for Vanilla Outpost Expanded is going along quite well. I've done most of the reflavoring. It's all very fantasy-based. I'm gonna add some fancy wizard buildings later, alchemists and uh, gem miners and whatever else to, to, you know, make it feel a bit more fantasy on top of that. But for now... I think we could put these prisoners to some good work for Wizard Nation. But, of course, we need a person to go along and set up the outpost for us. Can we poach one of these people? Zero mining, maybe not. Ten mining, hello there. It's going to upset the faction again, but... Uh, necessary evil. Relationship damage when recruited, 55. Uh, uh, I might... I might just do it. I might just do it. I, can, I might just do it. Oh, God. 
Okay, minus 55 opinion. Luckily, it ticks back up because we're the, we're the same faction, ultimately. We can do it kind of once a season without any penalties. Uh, let's set up Wizard Mining Camp. So let's go uh, up to here. I suppose that's the most convenient place. I'd like to clarify, we've been attacked first, okay? But we're not necessarily the good guys. We've done some horrific stuff. By we, I mean Rampunculus has done some absolutely horrific stuff. Wizard Nation has absolutely no qualms. Remember, X did the map healthy. Are you... Fucking shitting me. Ah, oh, we've still got the prisoners, though. Technically, they did exit the map healthy, but they're not going back to you. <laughs> Doesn't matter, because they're permanently hostile, so go back to 100. Yeah, Wizard Nation are, are, are totally fine with capturing the soldiers and enemy aggressive force and putting them to work in the mines. That's okay. Especially a prematurely aged ancient man. And Kapow. Look at this. Farming settlements, trebuchet emplacements, vanguard postings, your oil stills, rather than like oil drilling camps because that doesn't make any sense maybe i'll change the icon it depends how much time i get hago hello hago more like ha go mine me some more stinky <laughs> in fact we can mine absolutely everything gold emeralds amber citrine wow um I, I guess we'll take the oh it's a shame that's limestone blocks that's annoying i guess we'll take the iron ah shit what do you mean i can't just take your people and make a mine for me Okay, those are actual siege, so maybe we should go and blow them up before they blow us up. Look at all the powers. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is that noise? Uh. What the hell is that? Hello? Wraith? Oh, yeah, that will... That'll be it. It will instill fear in nearby humans, directly affecting their mood. Oh, they're getting mortars airdrop. What the hell is that? They're setting up a trebuchet. Don't you do that, you big bitch. Can we just hit them with, like, the old, uh... The old dick twist. Boom. Go dragon. Go dragon. Go dragon. Blur. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Careful there, daddy. I mean. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> didn't mean it like that. I didn't. I can't have that on the internet. I'm gonna have to edit that out. Get the fuck out of here. They're all fleeing. Why are they fleeing? Oh! They probably decided to steal what they could and then left. But that's their own stuff. Hello, Aaron Gilman. Aaron Gilman, you any good? Rogue, natural meditator. We should probably check some of the survivors here just in case. Ooh, psychic camouflage puppeteer is a fun combo. They can't do anything with it, but they're, uh, they're, their kids could. <gasps> Innate magic. Why is that a, a, a psi? Oh, vanilla race expanded archon. Oh, it's their future. Futuristic nonsense. Innate magic. Oh, two of them have innate magic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Meditation, dependency, and quick study. Ooh, that's not good. I mean, meditation, dependency is, I suppose, fine when you're doing it anyway, but quick study would be nice. And then Eden has magic bonding, which we definitely don't want because that will make things very messy. Um, let's see if we can grab some of the survivors here. Are, are our people okay? We caught a lot of hits there. I'm gonna have to add it like crazy around that because those fucking wraiths are so loud. Wildfire, twist his dick. Fuck off. Shut up. Keep the noise down, please. We've got children here that are trying to sleep. Good lord, die. Well, that's one. Uh, what are the rest? Do not get too close. Be careful. Be careful, wildfire. Be careful, wildfire. Oh, don't get too close. Don't get too close. Don't, I, don't, I don't know what range they can hit. But she can get them from further than they can get her, and that's all that matters. Goodbye. Brain exploder. Boom. Okay, one more, please. Just got to hang around for a while. You just got to empty out some of that load. You know what I'm saying? How my how my prison is doing? That doesn't seem... <laughs> that doesn't seem very reassuring. And... I think we're good. Okay. Okay, we're all good. Sorry, now I'll actually bother tending to my people. Shit. I didn't realize you're taking that much damage. Daddy, no. Are you okay? Gun shot ball, action rifle, left leg roll. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It'll take two seconds, okay? It'll take two seconds. How have we not got any healing magic yet? It's a better question. And golden. You're fine. How's Bert doing? Bleeding out in seven and his wife's just sleeping next to him. This is a monstrous, monstrous city. Filled with with ridiculous, insane people. How are you doing? Bleeding out one hour. We might not be able to... Oh, no, you'll be fine. That was just shredded. There you go. Your patch burnt up and everything's fine. Another day of somehow surviving rifles, despite the fact that we're wearing a fancy dress costume. 5% chance. Oh, it was unsuccessful. God damn it. Keep going, Melton. Melton is going to be our secret weapon here for keeping this colony alive and well. They do clean. They do clean? You saw that? That was cleaning, then. You were that was that was definitely cleaning, then. What the hell? Let's help them out with some incredible wizard research. Doormats, please. 
Do we even need to research doormats? Carpet, carpet making. Okay, that, that makes sense. Fair enough. That has to be it. I mean, it could be someone else in bloody wildfire again. Anita and Daddy. Melton, you are doing the wizard's work out here, my friend. We are going to need another double bed. I think we take this fence away and turn this into one big village. That does also mean I could put another room off of this, um... Wizard's Tower, if you can call it that. <laughs> Bye, Chrono Oobly out. I don't think we're going to be needing that for a while. Rambunculus is 24. Why is it always Bert? What has he done? Dragon, that was the worst person for you to try and attack, my friend. Kapow! Oh my god, he tamed it. That's good to know that if you've got a hungry dragon out there, not only will it go from uh, trying to eat your people, but it'll also flip to taming. I, I, I thought it might just calm it. No, i got to do it. I've got to call it Shenron. I've got to do some sort of tribute here, right? An enormous... Dragon is uh, very appropriate. No balls involved. Or at least not with the dragons. Now for the star of the show, of course. Wizard Tower. Orphan lover? What the hell? What? Two young wanderers, Boris and Elvira, have arrived at our colony's gates. Bound not by blood, but by a shared history of loss and survival, they have journeyed through the perilous landscapes, evading threats both human and natural, in search of a sanctuary. Will we extend our compassion and resources to help them or prioritize a colony's safety by turning them away? Um, I don't like that you've called the quest Orphan Lover. That's scary. Uh, welcome. Two orphans have turned up? Hello. You've welcomed Boris and Starry into your colony. The orphans are filled with joy and gratitude, seeing as this is a new beginning, and eagerly begin to contribute to the community. The question is, do you make for good breeding stock? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to put it so bluntly, but that's what Wizard Colony is all about. How old are they? Let's put them in in order here. Uh, are you any good? Let's see. Paladin and Mystic Warrior. A hungry little child, though. Holy shit. So so the higher your, your, your side casting level, you get like an armor to you. Psychokinetic Aura. Look at that. That's awesome. Paladin is amazing because I've been complaining for bloody ages about not getting... About not getting any any healing stuff. And then what have you got? Scarless and Herald of the Black Hive. Boris Sheckley. Hel Boris Sheckley is an amazing name. <laughs> Jogger and Super Immune. And then Starry is great memory and careful shooter. They've also got really good traits. That was a winning ticket on the lottery. On the child lottery. The most morally questionable of all lotteries. Now, Wizard's Tower is going to have a lot of knowledge, okay? And for a lot of knowledge, we're going to need a lot of cloth to bind all of these books. Through the power of Rambunculus, of course, we can turn people into crops. As people said, the time bubble is actually nuts for growing plants, so let's let's try that out. This could be a, a horrible, horrible idea. Uh, let's do one of those, and then I gotta keep everybody away from it at all times. Apparently. Whoa, look. Ready to harvest, stay away. Stay away. Stay away, step back. Step back. Uh, Sylvia, stay back. Ice Wolf, not you. Goose and fuck off. Don't let that dragon come near. Okay, how long does this go on for? Deadlift? How long does this go on for? Oh, no. Ah! Guys, wolf! Okay, it's going around. <laughs> Unkillable phoenix cat, and then it ages and turns to dust. Oh, my God. That is beautiful. What a power, huh? That one's great. What effect does that have? It doesn't. Obviously, a lot of these other powers are like, oh, he gains uh, five years from that one, or he gains two years from that one, or whatever. But no, that's not the case. He, uh, he's just, like, fine. It just cost him all his mana. Are you telling me... A shrimp fried this rice? Are you telling me that at any point we can just grow... Whatever crop we want as much as we like, as long as we've got the mana to do it? At which point I just sit Rambunculus, because he's got that research focus, right? Sit him in the middle of Wizard's Tower here. He's going to be in his element. Why are the animals here? Fuck off! Why are you obsessed with this river? Somebody did say in the comments it's a good sign for Wizard's Tower, though, because it means it's been blessed by the animals. And you know what? That's a fair point. They can bless me by leaving the area and stop filling the place with animal filth. Elsa is hunting gold muffalo for food. Ooh! A gold dragon? I didn't even know there were gold dragons. Oh, but... I am collecting every single dragon. You mark my words. Okay, oh, but my gold muffalo, though, please don't eat that, because I think I only kept one. Don't panic. It's all fine. Gold muffalo, too. No, 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 no. Can you, can you like, get on it or, or, or take it away or do something? Oh, it's over. Oh, my gold muffalo program's over, isn't it? I could cry. I could cry. Uh, Rambun Killers, can we do something to that dragon? No, nothing. But, 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 what about us? Almost there. Almost there. Round the corner. Shit. Shit, we might be fine. Believe in Bert. Go. Go. Fucking go, Bert. And? 
กระเพาฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่
We're not going to go too crazy with it. We're not talking like Granny's Ranch level. You have like a storefront. This is where we keep all of our wizard costumes and everything. Obviously, we're not going to sell them. People will just come and pick it up. Animals don't just drop leather. They drop hides, which is why getting the alpaca was so important. Otherwise, we'd be, be sh shit up. <laughs> Pegasus eye. Ah! Don't do that anywhere near the base, please. I mean, I'll take the components happily. And you know what? The steel without needing to process it all is amazing. Hello. We might also find some people. I guess I'll keep Rambunculus on standby in case someone pops out of the wreckage. Or they just wander onto the map. Hello? Or is he a dead, or is he a dead person? Hello? A small pre-Neolithic tribe have turned up. Oh, it's a bunch of very naked people. Leg cut off from magic. Zeno see a magical site. What does that do? Site will depend on the silent level of the carrier. Ooh. If you have vanilla site cast expanded, this will probably be very wacky. Well, you're in luck. They've two of them have magical sight. Oh. If we just send Rambunculus in for a little us to unite, because they haven't got a faction. Hold on, Melton. Us to unite. That didn't have a percentage chance. That means it's just gonna work. Uh Felix declines to... No no no, you seem to misunderstand there. F Phoenix, you seem to misunderstand. Protein became an adult. How did Protein become an adult sooner than you? How did I fuck that up? What happened? <laughs> Either way, we'll see how Protein came out. Protein has had some very, very good education. Goosen, break their legs. We, I'm sorry, we need your genes. You're fighting a magic blue hammer-wielding wizard on a dragon. What are you thinking? They're brave, and that's the type of thing we need for Wizard Nation. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. Hello there. Oh, damn. <laughs> we asked politely, they declined. We're not asking politely any longer. You know what? I'm going to send him away. I'm not keeping him up all night just to watch corpses rain from the sky. That's quite cruel. Oh, and of course, when I send him away, one spawns in. Hello. Barbarian. No, thank you. We are wizards. Actually, you good at mining? Asking for a friend? You are. It's because you've got dwarfism, obviously. <laughs> That's so silly. What a silly fella you are. Visitors. What the fuck are you thinking? Oh, well, they've got a, a, an intergalactic battleground going on over there. Let's go and walk through it. Morons. Patch them up, then rapidly, rapidly, Ramunculus run over here to go put out all of this fire before it gets out of hand. Thank you, fella. Sorry, then. Protein. Uh, some personal development wants to keep reading about rocket science. Protein enjoys pretending to fight machine gods. We've already done that once this year, and it ended horribly. Uh, construction, then. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. Like, lots of passions. Don't get me wrong. Fast learner just had 75%. You gotta do it. Oh shit, another person landed. Hello. But they got six hours. Well, are you any good before I rush over there? Legger and science meditator. No, I'm not that bothered. I'm sorry. We, we can only really afford to take the best at this point. The colony's reaching its bursting point. This isn't just about going, uh, casting a very, very wide net. We've got to be very focused with, with who is matching up with who, what genes are being passed on, whether or not they're having enough kids to pass the genes on, they're marrying the next generation together. Casting a very wide net will work, but it's not it's not about that. It's about precision. Wizard precision. By which I mean Rambunculus is going to go and thumb it in. Oh, the children are growing. Lil, hello. Uh, yes, obviously remain colonists for Lil. So Lil Melton, what did you... <laughs> Lil Melton is still a great name. Just Barden Ravager. Paladin Mystic Warrior. We've got to start considering matchups here then, right? So I think our best candidate for Ultra Wizard uh, kind of family tree is, of course, Deadlift. Extremely magic, size, sensitive, nature attuned. Could potentially pass both on, even though that's recessive. The next kid could have it active, right? This is... I know that's not how that works, okay? It's, it's, it's a video game. Suspend your disbelief. This, I think, combined with, say... I mean, Mystic Warrior would be kind of nuts. That would be that would be awesome. Daddy and Anita's kid, when it happens, it's not a case of if, it's a case of fucking when. When it happens is going to be insane. So I'm kind of hoping they have a daughter that we match up to deadlift. We've got time powers, okay? We can make it work. And then oh, you've got Super Arcane Dispersal and then Bert. And then maybe their kid eventually marries deadlift and Anita and Daddy's theoretical kid. You understanding? <laughs> and then eventually, right, that kid marries the kid of Boris and Starry, who will have uh, Scarless and Mystic Warrior. You understanding this? This is a, f it's a fucking nightmare. This is a, a hell of my own design. I've created designer dogs for human beings. I know I should be terribly ashamed, but it just... It's just what Wizard Nation has to do to survive. And I've got to, I've, I've got to be the one to, to make these things happen. Go. Come on, come on. Ah! No baby? Normally it tells you instantly, right? Baby has been formed. I can I can keep I can keep at it. I can keep doing that for I can I can be the fluffer. Oh, oh, that's what it meant by orphan lovers. They're they're orphans that were lovers. 
I understand. I thought he was saying that the colony loves orphans, so it, they were they were taking. We're gonna take them in. New lovers. Ah, uh, dead left to Melton. Oh, that's certainly a relationship. He's eighteen, she's thirty-three. Ah, uh, it it could be worse. I've seen worse, and that's that's my only comment on the matter. Human revenge. <laughs> oh, my dragons are hunting wild people. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. They're hunting all the wild people. Oh, this is disgusting. Ice Wolf, Ice Wolf is having a heart attack. <laughs> uh, for anybody new here, uh, Ice Wolf has been a name that I've used for the past four years. Every single character named Ice Wolf dies very unceremoniously. It's a curse that has existed... Longer than you can possibly imagine. And then Starry. Oh, God. Oh, God. You see, you, see, you see the problem, right? What we're making up for in genetics, like interesting new genes to eventually get into the colony, we're losing an education. We're, 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 we're taking these people on and they're useless. Like, they're terrible in the colony. They're going to have to spend most of their adult life just training up and learning to make up for it. Misandrous dwarfism, fast learner. Small? What does small do? Uh, it, it's just a negative in every conceivable way. Quick sleeper. There you go. That's interesting. Fast walker. Objectively, the best one to pick that. Oh, you know what? You need all the help you can get. <laughs> oh, no. As soon as I get control, I start losing it again. Sylvia is in labor. Sylvia. She's in labor in a field. In the, in, alone. Help, help. I've lost control. <laughs> this is so many people flowing in. And, right. What are we looking for? Best case scenario. Extreme meditation. Arcane dispersal. Baby. Baby Blight. I actually love that. And? Neither! You got dru Druid and Rogue, though. Whoa. Uh, so, Druid's from his father. Rogue is from... Uh, did she have that? She had nothing. This baby ended up with a load of different, like, side path mutations, but none of the actual mutations we wanted. That's a, that's a real shame. That is a real, real shame. Crib. Baby Blight is actually a step backwards in... The wizard project. She had super arcane dispersal. Of course, Bert had the uh, better meditation. That kid is a step backwards. That might be one of the one of the exiled children. I'm not very pleased about that. Goosin, what are you putting the child? You're exiling it for me. I'll thank you for making that decision. You're putting it in the hotel. Insane. You people are insane. <laughs> you people are insane. <laughs> Douglas Blight. Um. What was, what was, uh, just to keep things simple then. Remember, males get the name of the father just to keep things simple. Uh, so you can be Higgins. Uh, Douglas Higgins. We need like a wizard name. Um, tr tr Trambongaza. Beautiful. That's a wizard name right there. Well, I've just noticed how much footage I've actually got. And I've done a little bit of a fucky-wucky today. Well, I've just been playing too long. I enjoy... Wizard breeding program. I love the concept. I love the idea. I love our characters. And, and and putting all these building blocks together is very, very satisfying. But editing this is going to be a total nightmare. I'm going to do it out like half the episode at this point. And you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to apologize at all. This is a fucking goddamn great playthrough. And I'm happy with it. Thank you to some idiot guy, Jam Plague, Dr. Annie, Goochman, Kira, Unwise Planes, Rolando Secondo, Facundo Vasquez, Mike Freeman, Nancy Drown, Nexus, Boop, Mr. Irrelevant, Sandwich Tina, and Under the Couch for their support of the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for enjoying a little, I hope, wizard playthrough. I've got a very similar idea for a playthrough that effectively has the opposite mechanics, where we start with horrible, like, like, horribly inbred, vile, disgusting people who need to try and become baseliners. And I, I, I'm going to tie it into a previous series where we abandoned a bunch of people. You'll, you'll see it when it happens. So I, I hope you enjoy this idea. If you hate it, if you think it's shit, I can scrap that other series is what I'm getting at. So, so please let me know. Thank you as well to Salakata, William Steinbrink, Safate, Mithridates, Skylar Drake, Zelif, Ugami, Stretch Rogan, Cass, the red. Uh, bye.